Apologies for the delays. Steve and I are holding down the fort here, alone, and given my condition, I'm just not myself. Yeah, because that's a new problem for you. Shut up, Tony. You're more than just the Hulk, Bruce. You're one of the most brilliant scientific minds on this planet. Indeed. And it's time for you to share some of that brilliance with us, Dr. Banner. When can we expect to see your findings? Keep telling you. Gremlins. Losing power. On arc reactors one and three. Facing complete defensive grid failure. Lewis. Impossible. Even for her. Okay. Improbable. Incoming hydro gun ships. We're being completely overrun. Missiles slamming up. No, 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 no. Stay calm, Bruce. I. I am always home. Bruce! Keep working the comms. I may be able to restore the system if I can get close enough to the tower. What do you say, Junior? Think you could back me up out there in case Mommy Darkest arrives? Anytime. to clean up a bit first. We're dropping you to a position just outside the battle zone. A little extra caution, but better safe than sorry. Do not make it too far. Do not want to miss out on the fighting. your defenses were down. They are. Didn't say anything about our defenders, though. Hey, I'm Steve. Commitment to cowardice remains unchanged. Much like their commitment to just plain sucking. <laughs> Maybe we will survive this battle unscathed. Never, ever say that. That's pretty much Hero 101. Secret code is not Hulk Smash. Don't be ridiculous. It's Hulk Smash 1234. Transmitting now. <sighs> Got it. Hey, Jude, with your 
I'll play with the big boys now. Hail Hydra! the chance to use this! Hold that thought. How's our status, Brucey? You good? Oh, yes. So good. Tony, was that a gamma burst? Why am I reading a gamma burst coming from inside the tower? Not to worry. Everything is fine. All part of the plan. Bruce, what the hell is going on down there? <laughs> Something far worse than hell, Tin Man. <laughs> I said before. The Dark Mother thanks you so much for the Gamma Accelerator. Couldn't have done it without you, Tony. Did I miss something? He is lost to us. Fallen to my mother's corruption. Yeah, sort of a thing now. He played us. Well, played me. The code, this. Also, you could steal your precious accelerator. Fight her off, Bruce. We both know you're much stronger than this. Always trying to play the hero, Tony. Well, here's your chance. Save the world. Take the shot. And don't say anything, because I don't want to talk about it. Tony at a loss for words. <laughs> That's a first. It's happened before, and it's never a good sign. He's deeply shaken. Yeah, we should talk. You're right. Let's talk about how your mother just turned one of my best friends against us. I am sorry about Dr. Banner. It is always hard when our comrades fall. I appreciate that, Hunter. But you don't have to tell me about war. I fought my share of them. Then you know the risk, as did he. We're all willing to risk our lives, but this is different. What Lilith did to Banner was unthinkable. She changed him. <sighs> Listen. I know what happened to Bruce isn't your fault. But... But I'd be a fool if I said I trust you completely. You're Lilith's kid. Could your mother turn you the same way she turned Bruce? What if she has already? If that were the case, none of you would be standing here right now. You might be right, which is part of the problem. I don't know anymore. This is beyond anything I've ever faced before. These people look to me for guidance, but it feels like I'm stumbling around in the dark. I was told you are a soldier. I was. A long time ago. Then you know war is always uncertain. Learn from this experience, and ensure that it never happens again. Or give in to doubt and surrender now. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. Not exactly my branch of the service, but I get the point. You know, I think I might have misjudged you, Hunter. I am the child of the Dark Mother. It is only right for you to be wary. I appreciate that, but the truth is, I was angry about Bruce, and I took it out on you. That's on me. I'm sorry. Let's start over. Hi, I'm Steve Rogers. What do you say we get to know each other?
Are all modern soldiers as well trained as you? I haven't been a soldier since 1945. Then why do they call you Captain America? You could say it was an old nickname that just stuck. You still have not answered my question. Listen, today's soldiers are some of the bravest, most dedicated people I've ever known. But my training was different. I volunteered for a special procedure in hopes of creating the world's first super soldier. It worked. But the man who invented it, Dr. Erskine, was killed soon after. So to answer your question, I'm the only one. How do you like being an Avenger? Maybe it's the soldier in me, but I just like being part of a team. Is that why you created them to begin with? I think you misunderstand. I didn't create the Avengers. I was under the impression you were their leader. I'm good with tactics. That's all it is. Believe it or not, I didn't join the Avengers until the first time Bruce quit. He didn't take that well at all. Nearly tore apart New York. Dr. Banner? Impossible. He's, a. Uh different person when he's angry. You haven't seen anything yet. And still you let him come back? Everyone makes mistakes, Hunter. Ours are just larger than most. There is something about you that I cannot place. You seem different from your friends, almost. <laughs> Older? I suppose so, yes. I get that a lot. Last time I checked, I was 102, but honestly, I've stopped counting. It's weird even for me. I was in a plane crash near the end of World War II. Went into the ice in 45 and stayed frozen for, well, long enough. When they finally fished me out, the world I knew was long gone. I understand we have that in common. It has been an adjustment. Believe me, I know. The world has changed a lot since you were last here. But if you need help or just need to talk it out, I'm here. Anytime. I sense there is a past between you and Crossbones. He's a mercenary. Real name, Brock Rumlow. Does not seem to like you very much. We go way back. He even killed me once. So you are an immortal. Only if you listen to the Avengers marketing team. It's a long story, but no, I bleed just the same as you. Well, not, not the same as you, or Carol, or Bruce. Even Tony and Steven, I guess. But look, I'm mortal. I am glad we had a chance to speak, Steve Rogers. I am too, Hunter. You're not too bad at this leadership thing yourself. Starting to feel like I could go another 12 rounds. No time like the present. See you around, Hunter. It doesn't really matter what Tony could have done. We must live with it. Let's be real. We all know what's going to happen with Banner and Lilith. And it rhymes with the word, sulk. Well, that was crazy. I didn't have Avengers Tower goes boom on my end of the world bingo card. This is not a game, Deadpool. It was a major loss. So what, a guy's not allowed to deflect with humor? Lighten the mood a little? It's getting stuffy around here. You be careful not to go overboard with the jokes. I'm not gonna use everyone's traumatic backstory for my stand-up routine, if that's what you mean. We all thank you for that. I'm just saying morale has been in the dumps since the big guy joined Wanda in Brainwash Town. I have noticed. I feel for him, you know? You do? Uh, not having any control over your body. Been there, done that. Not a big fan. I'd rate it a big fat zero. I understand what you were saying. Didn't know you were part of the Body Snatchers Club. Not entirely. The collar I wear keeps me balanced. No offense, Hunter, but you don't look like a scale. 
What happened to your pals gives me the creeps, and I relate. It brings me no joy either. We will recover them. Great! I'll book a session with a therapist now. Bring tissues. Well, time to go around the Abbey and deliver joy like Santa Claus. Please do not do that. Boo! No fun! I told you I don't want to talk about it. Not talking about it won't make it less real. Banner has betrayed us and the tower has fallen. As Lilith rises, we fall. We were always so worried about the damage the Hulk could do. Quietly cheered to ourselves when we thought he might be gone for good. We never once considered what Banner's mind is capable of, unhinged. I should have seen this coming. Beating yourself up will not bring the tower back. I should know. I've been where you are now, spending countless hours blaming myself for the loss of the Sanctum for Wanda. Yeah? Well, maybe you didn't blame yourself enough. Some of us don't shrug off our failures so casually. I know you're angry, but if you're looking for a punching bag, may I suggest using the one in the yard and not me? There you go again, throwing in the towel before the fight is over. You're the only one who's fighting? Now take it outside, Tony. I've had enough. I fear the loss of his tower might break, Tony. I wish I could comfort him, but alas, I fear he's tired of me. Perhaps you will have better luck reaching him. Banner and Hulk are but two pieces in this mosaic. To eradicate one, eradicates the other. None can foresee the role Banner has yet to play. Okay. Let me guess. You're here to tell me I screwed up. That I should have taken the shot at Banner when I had the chance. Go ahead, Hunter. What are you waiting for? Say it! Tell me I screwed up! You did not do anything wrong, Tony. You just could not bring yourself to kill your comrade. I was weak. I let my love for him get in the way. No, Tony. Your loyalty and empathy are strengths, not weaknesses. The hell they are. They blinded me to what was actually going on. Damn it, why didn't I see Bruce slipping away? I should have known something was going on with him. All the red flags were there, and I ignored them. Some grand genius I am. I have three masters, a PhD from MI freaking T, and I sat at the helm of one of the planet's greatest companies, but I couldn't even see what was screaming right in front of my face. How did I let him play me like that? I suggest taking a moment to just breathe. It will help you get clarity. No, Hunter, you take a moment. I've got clarity on this. Thank you. And it's clear to me that what happened was my fault. We are not in control anymore, Tony. No one is safe. No fortress impenetrable. Not now. With my mother emboldening Hydra forces, there is nothing she cannot touch. You know, this, this little pep talk isn't really working for me. And perhaps I should take my leave. Yeah, you do that, boss. Leave. You wanted a word? Yes, about Banner. What my mother has done to him is a tragedy. I wish that was all it was. You need to fully understand the gravity of the threat he poses to us now. Banner is a brilliant scientist. No doubt Lilith will find a way to exploit that. You've never met his alter ego. See, Lilith doesn't just have Banner's genius IQ at her disposal. She has the Hulk, and that's like having a god fight by her side. God or not, he's not invincible. That's just the thing. For all intents and purposes, the Hulk is invincible. Or close to it. But I don't need to convince you. You will see soon enough. Okay, I've said my piece. I just hope you heard it. You've never fought anything like the Hulk before. Tony Stark let sentimentality stay his hand.
have an idea to get Lilith to release Banner. It's based on this really old movie. But we need an old priest and a young priest. I need to check on Aunt May. Can somebody, I don't know, astral project me to Queens? I trust Tony. Most of the... Not good. Nope. within you. The pain. So conflicted. It pains me to see you so angry with me. As it pains me to lose a valued friend. Bruce will be pleased to know you feel as such. He appreciates your companionship as well. You misunderstand me. I do not miss Dr. Banner. I mourn him. Yet another soul fallen to your twisted call. More lies taught to you by Sarah and her pet witch. I do not compel Dr. Banner. I released him. Released him from the shackles of those who've sought to control him his entire life. Such a unique mind. Such a powerful soul. Held in check for so long by his lesser. I cannot help but see the similarity to you, precious child. Will you not allow me to help you achieve the same? To find a true purpose. Achieve peace. I will only know peace upon your death. And I would happily die for you, if it would truly give you that. I am sure. But we both know it is far more complicated than that. My sister has raised you to be a weapon. Tricked you into believing that's all you are. All you want to be. I am here to show you you are more than that. When the time comes, you will stand by my side. Freely. I would never have it otherwise. And I thought I was the one who was dreaming. You have been asleep far too long, child. You must pierce the veil of their false prophecy and... ...wake up! 